Impact Media. Putting a face on radio. Eighty-eight point nine. The impact. You're listening to the hours of power. Storm of Ashes, right there from Sauron. If you're just tuning in, Sauron is in the studio. How you guys doing? Hey, pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> your, your, your smile says otherwise. I what? don't have any opinions about anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because we're not allowed to. Exactly. I feel jovial. You Very always nice. feel jovial. You're just a jovial kind of dude. With a beard. Bon Jovial. A bearded um, man of Space Station 11. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Oh, why don't we go that's around and introduce you. ourselves and what we do in the band? All right, well, this is Doomy G Black Thrash. Hey, how's it going? Uh, he's uh, the singer, I guess, vocalist. Vocalist. And he plays the bass guitar. Bassist. Yes. Yeah. And that guy who just introduced me, that's Skin Thrasher. Or Mike. Or Mike Skin Thrasher. Or Skinner. Yeah, he plays the drums, so he thrashes the skins. And the jovial bearded one would be Victor, the guitar playerist. Yep. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Lead guitar playerist. Yes, and rhythm. And rhythm? Yeah. A- at the same time? Yep. Simultaneously. Wow. That's how we do it. Simultaneously. And you're power here. Power trio. Hmm? It's a power trio. Like yeah. Rush. You're yeah, here for Cream, co- too. Huh? And Cream. Blue Cheer. Venom. Yes, Sodom. So early Sodom. <laughs> repulsion? Were they a trio? Yeah. Repulsion. Yep. Why not? Sure. We're here for a couple of Sauron. reasons. <laughs> <laughs> You're here for a couple of reasons tonight. <laughs> One of which you have a new album out through which is brewed called Satanic Assault. No. No. It's called Satanic Assassins. Oh. You're I think right Thrash. I think Thrash you is a Thrash two Assassins two together. Was our first album. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Thrash Assassins, and you're out through wishes. <laughs> my God. Oh, come on, man. Come wow. On. That you, wasn't you do this every week? No. I, I went up at 8 o'clock this morning. I'm tired. Um, 8 o'clock? At seven. I was at work at 7. Anyway. I was at work at 8, too. I went to bed at 3. So anyway, we're not here to talk about me going to bed. Right. We're here to talk about Satanic Assassins. Well, maybe you are. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about the Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they hire Gunther no, Cunningham? Well, He's a loser, man. GM? Two of 14. The Chiefs are two of 14. <laughs> Come right. on, Victor. You know we're not allowed to have opinions. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's true. That shall not stand. That's more of a fact, though. New GMs, though, probably pretty good. They made a good trade, right? Yeah, that Roy, uh, Roy Williams trade was... was very fair yeah. in, our, in our favor. I don't Two know. first round draft picks. I don't know. I'm pretty skeptical yeah. about the whole promoting thing. from within thing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and Gunther Cunningham, a loser. And uh, <laughs> Scott Lenahan, also. Victor, no opinions. But I, I didn't tell anyone to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, this is gone south. <laughs> south. So, uh, south you guys heaven. are on Witches Brew now, so how'd you guys get on that? Um, we made an album and then they released it. They they emailed Victor and said, "Hey, can we put out your CD?" And Victor said, "Yeah." Was this after uh, or before Thrash Assault? After. Yeah. What happened is we were recording after. a four-song EP for a label from Sweden called Blood Harvest, but uh, they wanted to turn it into a tape afterwards because they thought it was too long, and they weren't too happy with some of the mastering or the. Meaning it wasn't mastered at all. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't mastered at all. But anyway, so uh, luckily, shortly after that, uh, Cheryl from Witches Brew emailed me about doing a a full length, and uh, that was awesome because I love that label. So. <laughs> um, and it's is this limited to a thousand copies? Mm-hmm. And for now. For, for now. now. <laughs> and so people can can they get it through you guys, your website, or how can people get this? Uh, well, in America. In well, it's yeah, it probably goes through uh, the Bazaar, North America, or uh, Bells, Headbangers, um, Planet Metal, you know, distros in the area here. Which uh, just do I a guess, Google search. Probably, probably a lot of people in the area here since we're on the radio right now. Probably want to go to uh, FBC or Uncle Sam's because they've got it. Cool, cool. Word. Um, and don't forget replay. 
Oh yeah, replay. They just reopened, didn't they? <laughs> mm, not yet. Well, they, they, they just moved, moved to, to a fourth, third, fourth place. Fourth location. Fourth. Wow, it's a lot and of money. They moving. got an excellent video game selection. I have no opinion about that place. Eighty-eight point nine, the impact. You're listening to the hours of power. Uh, Angel Hunter, right there from Soran. If you're just tuning in, Soran is in the studio. How you doing, guys? Still uh, doing good. I'm just less like good time. for some reason. I feel fine. <laughs> 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 oh, um, we've talked about your new album Satanic Assassins um, uh, let's start with some shows you got coming up in the Michigan area uh, I think you have one of the 13th and who's that with? Uh, I'm not sure Nocturnal Fear <laughs> Nocturnal Fear <laughs> and Seizure Lake Yeah. rumor that's, has that's... it that a band called Best Idea Ever will be playing <laughs> that's uh, March 13th though not uh, not this month Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should clear. It's in Hamtramck at uh, Paychecks Lounge, which is a bar in Hamtramck. Yes, it is. You were correct. I have no feeling one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> you have a show on March 30th with Super Christ and a band called Dark Psychosis. I think it's Psychosis though. <laughs> yeah, I think Dark uh, Psychosis. I think they uh, hang out with ICP. Yes, they're on the same label. On the same label. Actually. One of the members really likes the movie Dirty Dancing. <laughs> a lot. Is it a bass player? No, it's not, actually. It's a guitar player. Oh. Really? He likes it a little too much, actually. If you ask me. Purple Rain, too. Go ahead, ask me. Victor? Does, does he, does like, he like it a little too much? Uh, yeah. <laughs> does he? And you have a show. You're, you're headlining Ogre Fest on the 25th. We're playing April last. 25th. Yeah. Huh? April twenty fifth. Yeah, we're playing last. We're the big marquee name. You know? We're uh, we're the rock star band. We got uh, all the guaranteed money. We're the reason that none of the other bands are getting paid. Yep. <laughs> and they're all giving us free equipment too. <laughs> and they're giving you all the beer you can drink too. Is that right? is that correct? <laughs> That's yes, what they're doing. That is correct. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, those should be three interesting shows. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. So, um. Hey, Digger, what's up? Yeah, so, well, when hey, did hey, Digger, remember uh, Wednesday? Was it Wednesday? Uh, last night? Yeah. 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 Remember that? Yes, I do. What'd you guys do? We had a fun time. Yeah. After, also, after you left, Mike Tough, Doc, and I started the greatest band ever. Yeah, I believe it. Well, that's your opinion. Well, you got tough in there. I mean, it's got to be good. We haven't named it yet, but, uh, you know. So, uh, how long has your album been out, guys? Um, uh, you know, like about two months, maybe, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, Two sexy two months. <laughs> nice. And you played a, a release show in Detroit with Anguish and Reaper, is that correct? We did. We did do that. It was more of a release show for Anguish. Perversion. But, yeah, but it was Anguish's release show. Yeah. Well, that's true, yeah. We just jumped on it. That was actually our second show after the album came out. So, I'm curious. How did you guys form? Well, it's, it's an interesting Mike story, really. At first. It was called the, the Mike and Victor Band at first. <laughs> Basically, Victor and I were at Michigan State at the same time for like one semester. Mm -hmm. And I saw a flyer up. His other band was looking for a singer. Oh, uh, yeah. His band Hammerhead. And... uh so I called him up, or I emailed him or something, and uh, we kind of started hanging out and uh, decided to form a different band. And then the we did. The greatest band ever. Greatest band ever. See, we thought of that first, Digger. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a new uh, regime being uh, pulled in. Yeah, funny story. Uh, we're better than everybody, Digger. I know. I believe it. You don't have to believe it. It's the truth. It's a fact. Not, and not an opinion. It's like saying, I believe that the sky is blue. Or I, so I think that Gunther Cunningham <laughs> lost two, or lost 14 games and only won two. Last season with the Chiefs. 